What has uh, become the long-running rallying cry here now is asking people to help flatten the curve. Yeah, and one of those curves is predicting a dire week in Michigan, with our state projected to hit its peak in daily deaths from COVID-19 on April 9th. But what's really behind that prediction? Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain what goes into these models. Disease models are tools designed to help politicians, health officials, and hospitals make decisions. They are not an exact science, not even close. But if they are done well, they can help predict where critical resources will be needed most and when. The next week is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment. It's going to be our 9-11 moment. Uh, it's going to be the hardest moment for many Americans in their entire lives. The projections point to peaks in Detroit, New York, and New Orleans in a matter of days. The model at healthdata.org that's often referenced by the task force experts is being created by a team of statisticians, computer scientists, and epidemiologists at the University of Washington. It takes into account many factors, including how many people are at risk, how many are infected, and how many have died or recovered. Another critical factor is how easily people can spread the virus to each other. That's been a difficult number to estimate, with scientists initially underestimating how much people without symptoms were spreading the virus. Now, the model also requires an estimated fatality rate. That's a number that has been dramatically different in different countries and can change depending on the availability of medical care and resources like ventilators. The lack of widespread testing in the U.S., particularly in people without symptoms, has made modeling here more of a guessing game than it might otherwise have been. Even if the models are correct and Detroit is approaching its peak, we still have to go down the other side of the curve. And this model assumes the stay home, stay safe order and other social distancing measures remain in place. Now in real life, the curves are often not so perfectly drawn. Cases can rise and fall from day to day. And if we relax any of the social distancing measures, we may see another peak later on. Back to you.